Hey guys, Drew here. Um, some people have been asking how I'm getting up the tree. Uh, this is my first season whitetail hunting. And uh, so far I've been enjoying at the very least getting into the woods with almost no gear and uh, getting up a tree most of the time pretty quietly. Um, still a lot to learn, but just going over the stuff that I'm using um, to show some people that have been asking. It's easier, I think, just to make this video and be able to share it with friends. So um, there's two things I really need. Um, one is my climbing stick. So this is from Eastern Woods Outdoors, um, handcrafted, hand built, but essentially you have a long rope to tie the stick to the tree. You have a platform to stand on once you're in the tree. So this is where my feet go. You have a loop that retracts into the handle, which I'll, that will make more sense later when we start climbing. And then if I just undo the rope, you will see that we have an aider, just a glorified stepladder to allow us to climb a little bit higher and a marine grade clamp for the rope to get in and out of the tree. All right. So that's the stick. Okay, the second thing we need for one sticking is a saddle for saddle hunting. Um, so the particular saddle I have is the Cruiser XC model. So it's just mesh. And it's webbing going all the way through to these loops called bridge loops. And I'll put it on and I can show you what's going on. So all I do is I gather up these leg straps and everything else and I just step through it pull it up just buckle it like a seat belt and when I'm walking into the woods I cinch it up tight there. so now everything is supported by the belt which goes all the way around this saddle now it's mesh with pleats when I'm climbing the tree I like to pull this all the way down and extend it and that way it's like a bucket seat and it's super comfortable when I'm in the tree. You'll see that when I, when I demonstrate. Um, but when I'm walking around or up in the tree, you can pull the pleats up and it's smaller and I can't feel it. The only weight I have is less than four pounds of rope. So I have 35 pounds of tactical rope in here for my rappel with a carabiner and my uh, rappel device and then a lineman rope and a utility uh, loop for the tree to hang my gear from which I'll demonstrate again okay now we're at the tree we're gonna start to climb I've gotten to the tree usually in the dark in the morning before sunrise and I usually know in advance kind of generally where the tree is um, I'll get up to it and the first thing I'm gonna do is take my stick out and then we're gonna go up to the tree plant it on the tree and then I'm just gonna pull the rope wrap the rope around put it in the clamp and what I have to do is I have to take the bottom pull it out and then down and that will that will really clench the rope and the stand to the tree so I pull it out and then down. And now that stick's not going anywhere. It's safe, it's really gripped in there. The tensile pull strength, the brake strength of this double fed Amsteel rope is over 4,000 pounds. So I, this is not gonna break it. All right, so after we get that, I'm gonna put the rope over and that will make more sense. I'm gonna use it to grab the stick when I start to climb the rope. All right, now the stick is up. What we're gonna do is go into my right hip and this pouch contains my 35 feet of eight millimeter rest tech rope. Uh, this stuff is used by SWAT teams and 
has a brake strength of over 1400 pounds and works great even when it's wet. I have a metal quick link on this and that's, I'm going to, once I get up to the tree, I'm going to wrap it around the tree, get it in here, and this is going to serve as my tether. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get this up to the tree, wrap it around the tree. I'm going to put the tag end of the rope through the quick link and lock it all up. This won't come undone until I'm done and down again from the tree. I have a little metal wire here attached to the quick link and all I use that for is I give one little quick wrap and it holds it in place. If I didn't have that, the rope would just fall down. All right, so now I make sure the rope is all the way out. And at the end, I have, I burnt a hole into the rope and I took this little utility hook that you can get anywhere. And this is what I used to pull my bow up. And I have my bow here. My custom ILF longbow, hand painted by uh, my buddy Art George, who got me into one sticking and traditional archery. So, shout out to my buddy Art, who's taught me a lot. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that loose end, and I'm just going to clip it right onto the string, and that will sit that will sit there. I lean the bow against the tree. And I know that seems a little crazy, but it doesn't fall. I balance it enough. Let's show you this. So I just balance it against the tree. I kind of wedge it in there a little bit. All right, so now we have the stick up, we have the bow attached to the rappel line and tether. Now I need to attach myself to the gear. So I'm going to go back into my right hip pouch and I have two things. I have a carabiner and a Mad Rock Safeguard, which is a rock climbing safety rappel device. You essentially feed the rope through here and it's a cantilever system. So it pinches the rope. And if you take pressure off the cantilever, you can slide down. Otherwise, it locks the rope in place. And again, we'll demonstrate this in a second. So what I have to do is I have to take the rappel line and tether, and I'm going to take that into the safeguard, and I'm going to make a loop. There's little diagrams in here, but you feed the tag end, the loose end, out this side. When you flip this over, it locks that rope in place. And now we're going to take the carabiner, feed it through this loop, which locks the device. It cannot open anymore. And now it's ready to attach to my saddle. We're going to do that by taking the bridge loop in the front of my saddle. And we're just going to lock it in. And that's it. So now I'm attached to the tree. I can pull out the slack rope. And you can kind of get a gist here of what's happening. I have my 35 feet of rope attached to the top, going to my safety rappel device, attached to another strong rope that's attached to the loops that continue in one endless loop, many stitches, like a rock climbing harness. And this is how I sit up in the tree once I get up. But now let's demonstrate how I actually climb up here. We are attached to the tree with the rope through the safeguard. We got the bow attached to the rope. We are connected to the tree. Now, the next thing I do right before I start to climb is I will take my left pouch and I have 
my lineman loop. Not everybody uses a lineman loop, but I do it for two reasons. One, safety, and two, it really helps me get the tether higher when I'm climbing, and I'll show you. So I'll take this around the tree. And I will hook this to the lineman loop. I always know the lineman loop because they're bright red inside there. So even in the dark, it's easy to decipher. Now, I let this all the way out for the most part um, because it allows me to kind of lean back and I can get my foot into the loop. Now the key here is you got to put your toe right into the tree when you climb. If you do anything like this, you can slip out. I've never had it happen. All right, watch, I'll, first time for everything, right? So toe into the tree and then I'm gonna climb and I'm not worried about the tether. As soon as I take my one foot off the ground, this is all gonna become slack and this is not a safety device for me as the instant that happens. All my safety and my climbing is through this. I am not worried about this at the moment. This only matters when I'm up top. So now I'm just gonna climb the tree one step at a time. I'm gonna use one step here. These are actually steps that I can stand on. And then of course the top platform. All right, so now I'm gonna climb. Next foot in. All right. Now when I get up here and above the, the cloth steps, I'm gonna tighten up my lineman loop. All right, and then I can stand up on the platform, tighten up my lineman loop, and now I have, I'm hands free because the lineman loop is doing all the work. I just have to slip this tether underneath the rope tighten this up a little bit so i can stand a little bit closer to the tree and have more leverage yeah see now i'm nice and tight to the tree now i can take this tether i can take more slack off the safeguard just by pulling it to the left and down and now i'm gonna tighten the lineman rope one more time so i'm like really getting intimate with this tree and I'm gonna reach up super high and I'm gonna lock that rope in place and then I'm gonna kind of pre sit it down and bite it into the tree all right so now I'm gonna take give myself tension in the tether because now I'm gonna switch to the tether I'm gonna let out the lineman loop i'm going to pull my saddle down and actually i forgot to loosen it so i'm going to do that right now real quick all right now that's nice and comfortable and i'm just going to sit down i'm just going to sit down that's going to bite now all my weight is on the tether all right and i can now unclip the lineman loop and i'm going to bring that around and I'm just gonna clip it onto my other lineman loop. I'll just let it dangle for now. All right, so now this is essentially how I'm going to hunt, but not with the tether that high. We need to climb this tree higher because the deer can still see us. There's the deer, all right. So what I do is I go to a seated position. This handle here on the safeguard allows me to pull slowly and lower myself down, which is how I repel at the end. Softly let the handle go so it doesn't click and scare everything. And now I'm in a seated position, all right? Now what I can do is I can swing around, all supported by the tether and my saddle, right? So now it's like a bucket seat for me. And I'm just gonna swing around, kinda hug the tree with my legs, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna grab the rope, the spare rope, and I'm grab the handle and the front, and I just gently pull up. 
And I'm gonna pull this out of the cleat. And then I'm gonna get here. And now I got one knee on the tree to pull myself away a little bit. And the platform has a little notch. So what I can do is I could put that notch under the rope here. And actually I wanna, I wanna move the stick a little bit. So I'm gonna put that notch here and seat the, the stick against the tree. And I'm just gonna let all my weight into it. And now the rope is holding the stick to the tree for me so I don't have to fiddle with it. I can just deal about the rope. I'm gonna move it up a little bit, move it up into the cleat. I'm gonna move the rope over again. And I have to do the same thing I did at the bottom, which is pull the bottom stick out and then down. So I pull it out and then down. And then I make sure it's seated really tight in that. That's seated, all right. So we'll be good. All right, so now that we're got this stick in place, it's time to climb again. So I'm gonna unclip the lineman loop. I'm gonna bring it around the tree and clip it to my other lineman loop. I'm gonna let it out again so I can kind of lean back. I'm gonna pull it up and lean out, push off of my feet, even give it a little more room here. And then I pull this out and I get my foot in it. And then I pull myself up. And again, I want to concentrate only on the lineman loop, 100% the lineman loop. Because it doesn't matter what the conditions are, I'm not going anywhere. So I'm going to stand up again. I'm going to get up on the platform and give it a little uh-uh. All right. Now I'm going to close this again, the lineman and give myself a little little comfort and breathing room here and i'm going to pull the tether up now i would normally do one more move to get a little bit higher but you can see kind of what an advantage point i already have just with one move and currently my head is only about 15 feet 15 16 feet maybe uh i don't know a little bit more but I would do one more move, if not two. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna set up camp here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this to just about, I like it just, a, just over my, just over my head. I'm gonna wrap that there. And I've used this wire too many times, it stopped working. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the slack out of this. And I'm gonna start to get a little cozy here. So I'm gonna pull down on the saddle so it's like under my butt, like a nice seat. I'm gonna loosen up my, my bridge loop here. Take out the slack again. All right, now, my tether's almost ready. All right, I still got the lineman loop on. I'm gonna let it out just a touch. I need to start getting ready for my gear. So I'm going to go into the only other thing I have besides an emergency. I got an emergency carabiner and a figure eight in case I need another device to get out of the tree with a rappel. Maybe that could be another video. <clears throat> but what I'm going to do is get ready to hang my bow and my gear. So I take this and I put it above and see here now I can get a little tighter again because I need to work so I can I can adjust my lineman loop and now I'm like nice and close to the tree and I'm just gonna bring the strap around and I put the hook on the left side and then all I have to do is line these loops up and I could put I could put this little hook into any strap here and then just pull it tight and now I'm done and then I have this is all tight this is my bow hook and I got these hooks and this is where if I had my hunting bag I would just hook that on here and the hunting bag has straps uh, that you can clip around the tree um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen this up 
And now I'm gonna take the weight off of the lineman loop and put it all into the tether. I'm gonna sit down and put start putting all my weight into it. This is where I start getting a little comfortable and fidgety and make sure everything is feeling comfortable. Now, with my weight off of the lineman loop, I can unclip this. I'm gonna grab it from the other side. And I'm going to just stash this in my left hip pouch. All right, but we still have the bow on the ground. So now I'm gonna take the rappel line. I'm gonna walk it to the other side and I'm going to very carefully and quietly as I can, going to pull it till it's taut and then I just give it a little oomph and up. And now two things can happen. One, I unclip this and hold on to it. I hook the bow into the hook. So now that's hung up. All right, next thing I do is I'm going to take my quiver and I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to hang the quiver on the hook. Now my bow can lay flat and what I'm going to do is put away my rappel line so there's nothing dangling out of the tree anymore and I'm just going to give it a little figure eight, little loose figure eight. Give myself enough slack here and all I do is bend this up. I put it into the right bag. And now my rappel line is stashed away. Nothing is hanging off the tree. I got my bow, got my Got my stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is very carefully pop my primary arrow out of the quiver and I'm going to knock it and I'm going to put it into the quiver and oh, not the quiver. Sorry. Got to get it on the bow ready to go. Now what I can do is I'm going to loosen this up. And I'm going to let this out because I don't want to be standing straight up in the tree because everything will, I'll never be able to shoot. So I'm lean back, my feet not quite 45 degree angle to the tree, but that's where the platform actually the angle on this is 30 degrees. So um, you kind of get a gist, but I can put my heels on that. I can twist because the bridge because of this, I can actually twist and get a good view. I can move around the tree and because the stick is fastened to the tree so tight, I can stand around and I can hide. So that's why one sticking is pretty cool as opposed to sitting in a stand. All right, well, hunt is done. Now what? Well, hopefully this arrow wouldn't be here and I'd be getting down to start tracking, but let's just say it was a bust. I'm gonna pull this up so I do stand up higher to the tree. I'm going to the first thing to take care of is the arrow with the broadhead on it. 175 gram broadhead. We're going to carefully put that back in the quiver. All right. So the first thing we're going to have to do is get the rappel line out. Going to get the rappel line out and 
I'm gonna grab the end with the hook and drop it on my left side and hopefully not let go of the hook. So we're just gonna let all the slack out. All right, now we're gonna grab this. I'm gonna hook this on and give it a second. I'm gonna grab the quiver. I'm gonna hook that on, close that up. I'm gonna take the line. I'm gonna drop this back down. Let's see if I could even get it back to the lean that I originally had. There we go. And now I'm just gonna let the rest of the lapon, the, the, the rappel line out. <laughs> and now we're good to go. Now, just need the gear strap. So we're gonna loosen this up. Gonna loosen up the G hook. We're gonna ball this up. I I like to pack everything up as if I was gonna climb again right after. So instead of putting that on the top, I'll take my Lyman loop out and I will put it back in in the order. That way if I am in the dark, I know exactly what order everything's gonna be in in the event I do go out. All right. So I'm not going to need that anymore. All right. One thing we do need for the end of the climb is this pull down rope. I have a clip on one side. I do two things. I let go of the rubber band and then I clip this onto the quick link. That way I know I'm not going to lose it. And then I carefully undo this and I'm going to drop this down. All right, now I just let that hang. All right, and that's what we have. We make sure that there's no obstruction on the rappel line that that can get out. The rubber band is off. And now we're gonna start the rappel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the handle. I'm holding the tag end as a brake down by my hip. I'm gonna slowly just start to pull this out. As I do, I'm going to step down on the stick slowly let out and step and I'm gonna step 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 and then I'm gonna carefully let go of the handle and if you if you just let it go it's gonna click you don't want to do that in the woods obviously even if you're getting down so you just let that down soft and then what we're gonna do is just kind of put our knees against the tree and we're gonna take the stick off. So anytime you get the stick off, it's cinched on there so tight. But if all you do is just gently pull upwards, you're good. Now, in a hunting situation, I actually do clean the stick up. But for now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully drop it down with the rope. And now we have the rest of the rappel. So we're clear below. I'm gonna push off the tree and have my legs go roughly 90 degrees and I'm gonna to start to pull slowly again. Never yank this handle. Real slow until the, the pace gets going. So you just let the pressure off. I got my brake hand holding this, holding the tail end. And I'm gonna slowly let this down and I'm just gonna walk down the tree to walk down the tree until I'm on the ground and now I can just pull this down and give myself some slack now I just said that I'd like to pack everything up as I go so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unclip my carabiner from the bridge now I'm detached from the tree I can take the carabiner out of the mad rock I can open this up and now the rope and the pull down line are the only things that remain. I'm gonna close this up. I'm gonna kind of nestle it inside each other and I'm gonna put this at the bottom 
of my right rappel bag. I'm going to unclip the bow and I'm going to move it to the side. And now what we have are the rappel line and the pull down rope. I just want to give a nice pull on the pull line and the rope falls. Now I unhook this from the clip. I undo the quick link. Take that out. And that's it. All right, so now that the line is down, all we're going to do is I'm going to take the end of the rappel line and give myself a figure eight. Everything in reverse from when we went up. Everything is exactly in reverse. I've done many dozens and dozens and dozens of climbs this summer to practice. Super fun. Even not in hunting, it's just really, really fun to do. And then all, all this goes in the right rappel bag again. That's attached. This is where I would also tighten this up. I can take my bridge loop. If I'm walking out of the woods, walking in and out of the woods, I can just wrap this around, tuck it in the band. So now it's out of the way and not flapping. And then the final thing, I take the cleanup loop and I do a figure eight with this as well. Wrap that up and put that in one of the front pockets of the, the cruiser saddlebags. Have these really convenient pockets. The stick. I can do this up in the tree. Just grab the steps, kind of bunch them up. Take the rope and wrap it. Doesn't have to be pretty. And then I wrap around the stick. until it's short enough that I can just stick it into the cleat. And that's it. So now the saddle's ready to walk out of the woods. I got my stick that I can attach to my bag if I have my bag. I just grab my bow. There's no evidence I was here at all. And that's it. Under 10 pounds of gear between the stick and the saddle that's required to climb, not including the bow, less than 10 pounds. And it's everything I need to get up the tree and climb. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And Eastern Woods Outdoors, if you want one of these sticks, they are amazing. Thank you.